Hey guys, this is Eric Tarr for the ProAudioFiles.com. Here's a video for you about four basic ways to use delay effects. I'm going to be working inside of this session of an acoustic pop song. I've already got my rough mix pulled up, so I'll play it back for you, and then I'll get to work on my lead vocals, adding in the delay effects. When are you coming, honey, back to me? Cause I've been lonely as a bird without a bee. But there's gotta be a better way To say the things that might just help me understand you There's gotta be a better So I'm gonna be adding in the delay effects on this lead vocal channel right here. I'll solo it and let you listen to it. When are you coming, honey, back to me? The conventional way to use delay effects is as a parallel or send effect where you have the dry, unprocessed version on one channel and then a processed, wet version on a separate channel that you can blend in. So here what I'm going to do is create a new track, specifically a mono auxiliary input. Next, I need to route the signal from my lead vocals over to this check track. Click on Send, and I'll find Bus 1. What you need to do is make sure that the Send name matches the input that you have for the auxiliary track. Select bus one again. Now watch this, as I increase the level on this fader, the signal will start to show up on this channel. When are you coming, honey, back to me? Cause I've been lonely as a bird without a Next, I need to insert the plugin that's going to add the delay. So here, I'm gonna go into my plugins menu, find delay, specifically, the Mod Delay 3. This is the stock delay plugin that comes with Pro Tools. For good measure, I'm going to come down here, double click, and rename this track to be Delay. The first type of delay effect that I want to show you is one that's called a tempo synchronized echo effect. It's very common in acoustic and pop styles of music. This delay time is going to be synchronized to the tempo of my song. Over here in my edit window, I've set up the tempo of my song to be 97 beats per minute. When I open up this plugin, it automatically detected and synchronized to that tempo. When I want to set the delay time to match that tempo, I just need to click on these buttons down here. So if it's an eighth note, quarter note, and so on, it will automatically adjust to the right delay time. When when are you you come? Come? Honey, back to me Cause I've been lonely as a bird without a bee But there's gotta be a better way To say the things that might just help me understand you If you wanted to add a dot to the note, for instance a dotted eighth note, which is a common delay time, you just need to select the note here and then add the dot to it. When are when you are coming, you come, honey, honey, back, back to, to me? Because I've, Cause been, I've lonely been lonely as a bird without a bee. If you want to achieve multiple repetitions, you just need to turn up this feedback knob. When are when you are coming, you come, honey, honey, back, back to, to, to me? Because I've, I've been lonely as a bird without, without a bee. Be. But there's got to be a better way. To say the say things, the things that, might that might just help, just me, help understand me understand you. So that's the tempo synchronized echo effect. Next, let me show you a different kind of delay effect, and that's the slap echo. Here, we're intentionally not going to use a tempo synchronized delay time. We're in fact going to manually set the delay time to be somewhere between 120 and 150. This style of echo effect will give you a different impression of the sound. In fact, it's Intention is to replicate the kind of delay effect that you would have achieved in the old days by using tape. So here, we're not actually concerned whether it's going to synchronize with the tempo of our song or not. So let me play you this back and you can listen to what a slap echo sounds like. When are you coming, honey, back to me? Cause I've been lonely as a bird without a bee. But there's gotta be a better way. If you want to further simulate what it would be like using a tape machine, when, you can just use this low pass filter. When are you coming, honey, back to me? Cause I've been lonely as a bird without a bee. 
But there's, there's gotta, gotta be a better way To say the things that might just help me understand you There's gotta be a better way To say the things I should have told you yeah. So that's how you can set up a slap echo. Next, let me show you how you could use delay to create a doubling kind of effect. This will be somewhere around the range that you'd find for a chorus kind of effect. So instead of being 135 milliseconds, let's set it in the range of about 30 to 35 milliseconds. Now we no longer as listeners are going to hear these as two separate sounds. We're going to hear that there's a doubling or thickening happening. When are you coming, honey, back to me? Cause I've been lonely as a bird without a bee. But there's gotta be a better way To say the things that might just help me understand you. There's gotta be a better So that's a much shorter delay time. Let me take this one step further and show you a fourth kind of delay. This is going to be slightly different. Instead of using this, as a parallel effect, what I'm going to do is set up a series stereo effect and show you how you can use a very short delay time to actually pan the signal from left to right. So here, I'm going to get rid of this delay track, that's mono, delete this one, and create another one here that's going to be a stereo auxiliary input. Now, instead of bussing my signal and splitting it off on this track, what I'm going to do Let's get rid of this send and change the routing of the output. This is going to be used to create a stereo series delay effect. So here, route the signal out to how about bus 34? And then on this track, make the input bus 34. Just for good measure, I'll play it back and we can see the signal going through this channel. When are you coming, honey, back to me? Cause I've been lonely as a bird without a bee. Next, we're going to insert in here a stereo delay plugin. We can still use mod delay 3. That will be fine. Next, we're going to start out and by making the delay time all the way down here to 0 milliseconds. My intention is to use the delay so that it's going to shift your impression from left to right. So very short delay times can actually be used for panning besides just echoes. So here I'll start out and I'm going to delay it on the right side. And my, I envision that's going to shift the perception of it over to the left side. When are you coming, honey, back to me? Cause I've been lonely as a bird without a bee. But there's got to be a better way To say the things that might just help me understand you There's got to be a better way I can do the same thing for the right side. When are you coming, honey, back to me? Cause I've been lonely as a bird without a bee But there's got to be a better way to say the things that might just help me understand you There's gotta be a better way to say the things I should have told you yesterday So there are four different delay effects that you can use. First off was the tempo synchronized delay or echo. Then I showed you the slap echo. Then I showed you chorusing and doubling kind of sound. Then also how you can use delay to actually create the impression of panning. It's all about just changing the delay times to accomplish those four basic types of delay effects.